What's going on guys? Welcome back to 4 Bros Automotive and in this video we're going to share with you how we bought a salvage truck and turned it into $1,000 probably with a small amount of time. Alright guys, so right now we're going to continue the process of a 2009 Ford F-150. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay guys, now the truck is here at the shop, we're going to start taking off the rear bumper to see what parts we need to replace. Alright guys, so we went ahead and started working on the truck before anything, start by grabbing yourself some tools. In this case, we'll need a wrench and a flathead screwdriver. After picking out the tools, we began to remove the bumper with a 21mm wrench. The bumper itself had two bolts on each side, so we went ahead and removed them with a wrench. In addition, remember always to wear eye protection at all times and if you can, also wear gloves. Before we had started working on the truck, we went ahead and looked for a bumper in Facebook, eBay, Amazon and also in local junkyards. But they all seem to be around $500, which to me is a bit pricey for just a bumper. But luckily, I was able to find a person in the Facebook marketplace that was selling the bumper for just $200. While removing the bumper, we came across some sensors, so we went ahead and slowly started unclipping them so that we won't damage any of the wired connectors. Once removing the bumper, we noticed right away the bumper is no good to reuse or salvage some parts. The only thing that was good was the hitch. After setting aside the bumper, we went ahead and removed the bumper cover slowly, trying not to damage any wires connected to it. As you can see, the bumper cover looks to be damaged and cracked, so we'd have to replace it but luckily the bumper we bought came with sensors and the bumper cover so that's a plus for us after removing the bumper we went ahead and checked the frame to see if it needed to be aligned so that the new bumper could fit into place but by the looks of it it is not damaged now that we removed the rear bumper it gives us space to work on the damaged panel but before anything we have one more part to remove which is the tail light so we went ahead and removed it with the drill after removing the tail light we went ahead and straightening the rear panel as much as we could and grinding off all the old paint till we hit bare metal so that the bundle could do its job all right guys, now that we strained the rear panel as much as we could, now it's time to go to our local paint store and get the materials that we'll be using for this project, which includes Bondo, primer, signing paper, and also tape, which would give us a total of around $250. As you can see, we already have applied the Bondo and gave the bed the form it needs so that we could leave it prepped for the primer. We have now applied primer onto the section that will need to be painted. Now it's time to sand it down and fix all the minor details so they won't show onto the final spray. Also make sure to remove all the old paper and tape so you won't have dust falling onto the freshly painted parts. So make sure you retape all the areas that you don't want to paint. Alright guys, now the truck is fully prepped, we went ahead to our local paint store to get the material that we'll be needing to paint the truck, which in this case we will just need a quart of paint and clear, which gave us a total of $150. Now it's time to go back to the shop and get the truck painted. Well guys, the truck has been freshly painted with the finer layer of clear coat we should give the truck around three layers of clear so that we can have enough space to give the truck a good buff after the paint has been fully dried we typically give the cars around three to six days out in the sun before we give them a wash now it's time to wait for the paint to fully dry up so that we can start giving the truck a wash well guys that concludes the end of this video on the next video we're going to demonstrate you the last and final step of the 2009 ford f-150 so with that being said if you guys do like the content we share with you guys Please make sure to like and subscribe so that we keep you updated with the latest videos.